Super Super is a cult magazine based in London's East End. The magazine's founders, Super Steve and Namely, have been hailed as cultural revolutionaries. You know, it's a new century, there must be a new way of, of kind of being rock and roll. Together with their team, they have inspired a whole generation with the magazine's super relentless optimism. The world looks a lot more super now than it ever did before. <laughs> We look more style than just fashion. I'm Alice Pleshy and I'm doing some photos for Super Super in Birmingham. It's all about senior citizens and their kind of fashion sense. It can be a charity shop, it can be a high street, it can be high fashion. Hi, my name's Sean O'Donnell and um, we're going into some charity shops and just looking for those really random labels that you just can only find in charity shops like avocado, bunny lamb, curry knits, like stuff that's now become cool to wear. We're kind of in this age where everyone's just obsessed with youth and beauty and that the two can't be unlinked and I kind of wanted to show that the two can be unlinked and beauty can also go along with old age. Excuse me, I was wondering if you guys would mind if I took your photographs. Hi, I'm Carrie Cassette Player and we're here in my showroom in Shoreditch. Cassette Player is basically future sportswear, um, cartoon culture, um, one of the most creative, challenging, young designers working anywhere in the world right now. Do you think that people are going to start dressing more like kind of co cartoon comic book heroes in the future, that that will become more normal? I know, I like virtual reality and stepping out of reality. We push to be like very future. Can I get you stood up next to this uh, white backdrop? <laughs> Why so did you can... think it was interesting? Just because the colours, I just really like, especially like the contrast between them. My <laughs> only interest in fashion is I avoid it. <laughs> Suddenly it's just become, you know, it's cool to be actually be wearing a label that's not a label, which in itself has become a label. This one's quite good because it sounds like kind of Italian, but clearly it's, just, it's not kind of thing. Nice Armani rip-off. I think I prefer this one, Army. <laughs> Nobody was wearing those glasses before you did. I pretty much... Always looked like this. Grazia phoned me up once and they were like, oh, we're phoning you about the ugly Betty trend. And I was like, um, I don't really know what I can say. This isn't a trend. I look like this. <laughs> Carrie Cassette Player and Namely basically were the two people that created the whole new rave look that changed the whole world for that period of time. I remember she made me a necklace. I think I must have said that I liked ham or something so Carrie made me a necklace made out of cheese and ham and she put it on like a, a big pendant. Irony is like my least favourite word. Irony for me is for people that are scared to believe. I have the same thing about irony as well I get really angry when people used to say like oh are you dressing like that as a joke you know I, I have humour in the way that I dress yeah, yeah. I'm certainly not laughing at yeah. the clothes or you know it's very serious. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about being a fashion icon? I'm Ada and I live in Birmingham. What kind of clothes do you like? Well, mainly trousers and anything like that. Style basically comes down to expression. It can take any form. You can do it. Go out there, express yourself.